Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Purple Line Plays. Today we're back in Car Mechanic Simulator 2021 and we are taking a look at the auctions and there's something quite obvious on there that we're going to take a look at. So uh, if you want to see more content like this hit the subscribe button and ring that little bell and why not smash the like button uh, while you're at it. So right at the top here there's a Land Rover Defender. Uh, so it appears now that the Steam Workshop is up and running and we've got some uh, new cars on there to uh, to take a look at and one of them is obviously the Defender so we'll see if we can pick this uh, Defender up in the auction and we'll, we'll take a look at it and we may do some repairs if it needs it or oh, in a red as well that looks nice this uh, this is a fantastic mod so if you do want to pick this up like I say jump over to the Steam Workshop it's available right now yeah I'm a big fan of this this is fantastic. Can we have a look at it? No. What can we do? Car status. Uh, it's got a V8 pushing out a mighty 222 brake horsepower. Ooh. Uh, so 70-ish percent. So there's opportunity for us here just to uh, do a few repairs, I think, if we can find it. I like this. Right. Let's uh, let's start the auction. Uh, start the auction. Oh, I want this. It's a good job we're in sandbox mode. 20,000, nice. 24. We're creeping up. Have we won it? 27, too. Lovely. Estimated value 33,000. So there's a, there's a profit there already. Oh, we want that straight in the garage. Right, let's... There's no other ones here. There are a couple other ones for the mods um, uh, that have recently been released that we can also take a look at. And I'm sure over time there'll be more of these coming out. So it'll be very cool to take a look at these different cars. And uh, yeah, we'll kind of go from there. So if we just jump back. Right, let's jump outside. Here is the lovely Defender. Let's move it in on to the second lift. Get that. Looking good. Right, uh, let's get it up in the air. With nice V8. Up in, uh, we'll go one more. That's a big old car. Ah, so you can see we are missing an exhaust here this does look very cool so maybe it doesn't need an exhaust interesting I would have thought it needed an extra exhaust pipe but I'm in mount mode and apparently Apparently not. Well, there we go then. Can we go into or go into unmount mode? Can we go into examine mode? We need to get. Let's see if we can find anything that particularly needs. It's all around the sixty percent mark. Uh, okay. There we go. Do we pull out the? Uh, do we pull out the engine and uh, perhaps see what performance parts we can put on it? Who knows? Ooh. It's you know it's not in perfect condition, but it's nothing's coming up is red so I probably wouldn't want to do too much more to it if I'm honest uh, drive shaft will check exhaust will check it looks in relatively cooling we can't do much with that reservoir can't do anything with the brake booster fuse box 
Okay, interesting. Let's jump into normal mode. Bring it back down. Now, do we take this out, I wonder? Probably will come out relatively straightforward. It's just a rear wheel drive. Um, oh, this is a future thought here. What should we do? Hang on a second. Can we get any performance parts for it? Because I'm just curious to what we... I'm already up 9,000. I haven't really done anything. Uh, so we are talking uh, V8 single overhead cam. Uh, V8 single overhead cam. Oh, so there are, there are parts available for it. Got some exhaust manifolds. Do you know what? Uh, we'll take two of those. We'll put two new fuel rails on. Put a new throttle on. Uh, maybe we'll spark plugs it. Uh, spark plugs. Classic to do. Spark plugs and ignition coils. Yeah, it's nice, easy, quick mod, hopefully. Spark plugs, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? There you are. And then we'll have a We'll have a little drive on the track and see what we we do to it so uh what well, throttle's gonna come off he's definitely got a new one of those the fuel rails and then the ignition coils these are all relatively straightforward and hopefully we'll make a good bit of difference let me need to take out these spark plugs we could have changed the heads, but I think that's is that really worth time and effort. I'm not too sure. Uh, let's take these clips off so we can get to the air filter. Oh, I don't know if we've got the right air filter there, but we can look at that. That's Take this manifold off. We've got a couple of seized ones here. And then we'll jump round to the other side if we can. There we go. We'll whip this, this one off. One bolt hiding there. Right. This manifold alone gives us 4%, so that's a nice, nice increase. And, oh, there's one hiding there. We'll do these spark plugs. Nice and easy. There we go, one more. And finally the fuel rail. I'll do the throttle while we're here. Got some nice new shiny parts going on here. That's always... Oh, I match the red of the car as well. Excellent stuff. Oh, no, come on, last spark plug, there we are. There we go, coils. Last but not least, this one, fuel rail. Oh, lots of bolts holding on the exhaust manifold there. Nice and shiny, of course. Ah, oh, we could have done fuel filter as well. I'll take you as well. Uh, I don't think we've got the right air filter, no. So let's just jump over to tablets. Take one of you. And that air filter, where? Uh, no, fuel filter. Uh, there we are. We could take a fuel pump as well. Um, what else is going to be easy access, possibly? 
Tell you what, take an alternator while we're at it. Uh, power steering pump, maybe? I don't know. Too many to choose from. I don't know which one it's got fitted, you see. Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll leave that. We certainly did a fuel pump. Got a fuel filter. Oh, I think that'll do nicely. Got the alternator as well. Ooh. There we go. In it goes. Get the cover back on. And the plastic clips that drive me up the wall. Uh, right, we'll go into unbank for this. Unbank. There we go. What else can we possibly... I think we've put everything back together this side. I think we are good to go. Uh, let's just actually, while we're at it, we'll better just check the uh, the dipstick. Yep, we've got plenty of oil. We've got halfway, so that's good enough for me. Right. There we go. Down it comes nicely. Right, let's move the car. Uh, where are we head? Where should we head? Actually, no, wrong one. Let's head over to the map. And we're going to go to speed track with the Defender. Brake fluid missing. Well, that's awkward. We'll quickly run over and just. Uh, we'll pretend like that never happened. It's got brake fluid. Oh, I don't know what it's. Right, that'll do. We'll try that again. That's. Uh... There we go. That's more like it. And uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, for, I believe, if I remember, we can see, see how fast this is. Got a good sound to it. This is uh, interesting handling. Into fifth gear now. I think. Are we going to get any higher? There we go. Yeah, don't worry about that. Good job, no damage. Do a bit of off-roading since uh, Lamb Rover. Oh, bit Banksy, bit Banksy. All right, there you have it. There is the Land Rover Defender. So, guys, if you've enjoyed this one, we'll take a uh, we'll take another look at more mods that are, are, are coming out on the uh, the Steam Workshop, and uh, we'll see what we can find, and maybe take one from the if, if we find it in a uh, a barn or a junkyard, and we we can restore it. But first, we need to continue rest finishing our restoration of the Lamborghini which will be out very shortly. So until then, bye bye for now.